Right, hello, welcome to Astrology Study Group. And we're going to look at the transits for this next week. We've looked at them a few times, but it just helps as we get closer because this is definitely one of those very, very interesting times in history. So today on November 1st, we can see we were starting to get this little lineup over here. Gosh, and I, we've done that so many things and I keep seeing new things. On, and when I look at these things, these um, angles, it's just a real crazy, uh, interesting study in astrology. Fascinating. I'm totally fascinated by it too. Okay, what do I got going on here? Um, where how to sort this out? Well, let's start over here by with all the stuff, the stellium kind of forming over here in Scorpio. Wow. Ah, oh, where to begin? Let's look at Venus. Okay, let me. Yeah, we're on days. Okay, so good. Let's look at. Let's look at this whole group. So we have Mercury. We know that it was. You know, it's gaining on the Sun, right? It's four degrees. The Sun is nine. Venus is ahead. They're all getting close to the south node. So we know they're all going to pass over the south node. Whoa. <laughs> and we're coming into this midterm election. There's so much based on this, this midterm election. Isn't this crazy? And, you know, and it's not even really our government. It's just a corporate, um, you know, corporation. It's been, you know, our, our country is a, a corporation now. Again, I don't want to go too heavy into that. But uh, uh, anyway, so we see this lineup of things going into the South Node. South Node um, loss, you know, where traditionally kind of loss of on the physical level, loss in material world, loss of that. In the Ayurvedic um, side of astrology, you know, the Vedic side of astrology, it's it's more revered, the, the South Node. It's like, oh, God, I get rid of all this material crap and all of this yeah, that this, this highfalutin world, all this technology and all this crap, you know, all the stuff that we're burdened with and, and seek more spiritual based things. So I can't, you know, I want to get rid of these habits and these patterns and these worn out relationships and how people relate with me or and how I relate with people. You know, we got the, the values, Venus and the sun is lighting it up right there. And Mercury's communicating. So this is all coming to the South node for everybody. So on a world scale, I say there's going to definitely be a huge sobering, huge, you know, and Venus is leading the pack. So let's just look at this. I think it's just easiest. It's the easiest way to break it to you. All right. Tomorrow, Wednesday, Venus is at 12 degrees. Thursday, it, you know, what between Wednesday and Thursday, it crosses over that, you know, it, it you know, look at that. It goes two degrees in one day. It's gaining speed. It goes from two to four look at that boom goes right over it so that's going to go fast i think there's going to be some kind of something's going to drop wednesday to thursday all right then the sun okay so whatever is recovering from that sun is about to go next here's friday as we come into friday look it's getting close boom saturday it's right on there it's right on the sun saturn right on, on the sun I'm sorry. God, I'm not, I'm not speaking right. The sun is right on the south node. Wow. And then look at Venus now getting close to being in um, opposition to Uranus. Uh-oh. And we go one more day. Boom. Venus is now opposing Uranus. The sun crossed over the, no the south node and Mercury is about to cross over the south node you can only imagine i think this is just day by day so let's talk about venus here first it's it's crossed over that the sun's crossed over they've gotten kind of away from that but now we've got some sudden value shift sudden uh money um or values or um out of the blue or reconsider is that really important um uh, you get you get some insight out of the blue. Something just occurs to you. Um, the inner depths of something is exposed. And see, the sun is right behind there, kind of lighting lighting up the way. 
And then Mercury goes over. Boom, that's done on Sunday. Is that Sunday or Monday? Yeah, Monday, Sunday, Monday. And then now Mercury is gaining on the sun. <laughs> so Mercury now is conjunct the sun on Tuesday. And, and now, we, now we, we got the beginning of the end here. <laughs> or the beginning of the whatever we got. So here we go next Tuesday. Mercury is now conjunct the sun. And they are about to line up with Uranus. Or they've, they've totally conjuncted Uranus. And if I just go back like a couple hours... It's just so much more fun when you get it all. Is it going to do it? So, well, now Mercury just went back. Okay, so what I was going to show you, like the moon. Okay, so this is how kind of close it is. So the moon make, meets up with Uranus first. What time is this? Seven in the morning. Moon Uranus. Now watch Mercury. And then Mercury lines up with the sun like about nine in the morning. Just remember first, moon on Uranus. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Your moon on Uranus. Moon is Uranus. I mean, that's it. You can't make this shit up. I'm sorry. <laughs> moon conjunct Uranus. <laughs> so that happens first. Uh, something's going to happen to make people shit. <laughs> And then Mercury, then they're going to talk all about it. <laughs> then Mercury is going to line up with the sun. Wow. Then it'll pass it. Okay. Um, so then they all start, you know, we've got, um, we, we said Venus is going to line up and then pass that. And then the sun will line up and pass that. It, it, did, it all did the nodes, but then it all does Uranus too. <clears throat> and then Mercury, they all do the same past Mercury, Uranus. Okay, what else? Okay, if that's not enough, right? Um, they're getting closer to, let's say, I guess we start with, with the, the moon. The moon here, then like maybe an hour later, you know, we watch the moon. It then squares Saturn about 10 o'clock in the morning. Then the moon clicks in and starts to square Saturn. Wow. So that's going to be sobering. So just kind of follow the order here. You know, we've got so something interesting here then, then um, yeah, and then it gets sobering. Um, what else? Let's go back now. So we just take it a little slower because there's so much. Okay, so we're back here. We, we talked about all these planets going over to over, over the south node. So we've got world things happening and then we've got our own stuff happening. So as we go through the week, this is kind of a time to, to use the, the, the sun and inner communications to weed out stuff in your psyche, in yourself that you no longer need. Um, move relationships, situations that have, what's the word I want? outlive their time, their purpose, and, and see if there's new purpose or new new time or new something in it. Otherwise, it's it's like it's going to pass over that node. Um, and then it's going to square Saturn. So a new kind of um, a new formulation. You know, we've got a goal. It's like it, it could be remolded, redi redigested, uh, recycled. That's the word I was looking for. So values, something's being lit up and then communicated. Something is no longer necessary or has evolved going over that south node. And then it kind of meets up with that sobering um, effect of Saturn, which is just restructuring. But, you know, it's because Saturn is still in that Aquarian sign, it's out there. It's like, well, it has a purpose. It has a wider range of purpose. All right. So that's that coming in. I didn't even get to Mars yet. Don't let me forget about Mars. Actually, I'll talk about it now. Mars, during this whole time, you know, we've we, it's it's retrograde now, and that has is going to slow things down. It's going to be, I think, it could be a few things. One, it could be definitely frustrating. The forward momentum has stopped, and being in a busy mental sign, and and starting to retrograde. It depends on the mind. If your mind is okay with um, 
going back over details and being busy in a retro action, that's fine. If you just work bottom the barrel forward, then it's not fine. Um, so yeah, if you're okay with taking a few steps back to reconsider and re-go over and, and redress, then you'll make the best use of met retrograde Mars in busy Mercury. But it right now is, this, this is kind of strange. It's kind of almost at the exact midpoint, you know, within a, a degree or so of, of Neptune, of making a square to, to Neptune and um, um, Jupiter. See, they're in, they're in Pisces, which is a mutable sign. And so the middle of those degrees is about 25, right? Um, and Mars is at this mutable sign. So mutable, immutable. So it's right in the middle of them. So what does that mean? Well, being in the middle of, of something nebulous and big, <laughs> squaring the nebula, the big nebulous thing in the room and being stationary just about, I mean, it's moving very slowly. So it, it has to really size up the nebulous mist, the big nebulous thing in the room. Maybe it's identifying the big elephant in the living room, you know, because it's stationary that forward motion, that aggressive energy has to go somewhere. And it's in that busy um, mental sign, but it has to make some kind of sense out of this big nebulous thing, this big disillusionment maybe. So it has nothing else to do, but to, but to use that energy to, to, um, to focus within, to clear up the confusion. That's kind of how I see it because that's, you know, those two planets there in that nebulous area, you know, Jupiter likes to be there, but, um, you know, so they both do, but um, it's kind of like those two are sitting there getting stoned and not getting anything done. <laughs> Neptune and Jupiter is like, get out of Neptune. <laughs> but anyway, Mars is kind of joining the party and is like taking, you know, the, it's like, come on, let's do this. Come on, let's go. This. So that's kind of what's happening. I think that's very interesting. And that is, it's, you know, it's, it's hanging out there. And then look at um, on the fourth, next, on, on this coming Friday, when, when the moon hits in that middle of that, you know, and Mars is still there, it's going to hit over that. So that might be another interesting day, Friday, when, when the moon gets in the middle of that, and it will exactly square Mars and Mars will be at the, you know, that midpoint of them, which could bring, oh gosh, I mean, it's just a big emotional um confusion maybe maybe something as we get closer friday looks kind of like a freaky day um yeah this i think it, it, all of this week it's like it goes from kind of one thing to another you know on, on that day you know venus has just gone over the the south node and the sun is about ready to get onto it so yeah friday into saturday i think is just very interesting very interesting day yeah it's like a whole lot happening. It's going to just speed up. But that's funny, though, with the moon there. It's funny when you can slow it down like that and you really get that. And then, um, but then it's it's nice because it's making a nice aspect over there to Pluto. You know, it's only a sextile, that whole group right there at that time. So what could that mean? You know, I'm thinking the depths, you know, with, with, with uh, Pluto there and then, Maybe we, we got to feel our way through the depths of some kind of emotion. Maybe there's going to be a lot of, here it is. Okay, this is what I get. There's going to be a lot of misconception, a lot of false things being spewed around, a lot of false data, a lot of uh, scrambling at the last minute to put out false information. And the moon is there so people can really ascertain because some things I think are going to look very illusory. And I think you just have to go on your feelings, your gut with that. The moon being right there. All right. Let's see. Moving on here. Okay. It goes over to Aries, the moon. And then as we get closer. Yeah. It'll get, I mean, it's just very interesting when we get into this, the, this eclipse, you know, when we get the, the full moon, the moon goes joins this whole pack and then the moon's going to go over the north node and uranus woo right at this time you know as we get later in the day there now the moon's going to go pass over those guys wow and then it's you know as it, as it passes it's as fun you have to think about it a couple levels as the moon 
goes over North Node in Uranus, it's also, you know, going to be going to be opposing, um, you know, South Node, Mercury, Sun, Venus. Okay, you know, Bing, 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 <laughs> Bong, um, and then squaring over here to Saturn, right? So we have, we've got a, quite a mess going on here. You know, we've got the Saturn square, all Saturn is going to, again, it's going to square all this stuff. You know, it's still pretty close. It's 18 degrees, but when it, the sun, when the moon triggers it, it's all lit up. It's all lit up. You know, these notes are, it's, they're all resonating. They haven't quit resonating. So this is just very, very intense, you know, Monday coming into this. And yeah, look at it just it rides over there for all day Monday into Tuesday. You know, because here by like eleven in the morning, like the sun has just passed over that stuff and it does has, you know, it's opposed all those things and squared, you know, right there. It's squaring now Saturn. But then as it moves on, it's gonna trine Pluto, right? As it moves on and in, into um um further on into Taurus. Don't forget that. It's gonna trine over to Pluto. That'll be interesting, you know, because it, when it, you know, before it moves into Gemini and then it's going to go over Mars. And remember that midpoint of Mars, when it goes over Mars, it's going to be in a different, you know, in another couple of days, we'll hit that next week. But let's just show you here, um, you know, as the moon goes over Mars, uh, let me just go ahead and do the hours. It's just so much nicer. You can actually see it. Let's see when that it is. Do, 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 do. Is it still that day, the tenth? Maybe the eleventh. Yeah, on the eleventh. That's okay. We just so we could just see what's got coming up. Okay, so on the eleventh, um, the moon is now right on Mars, and it's it's still you know it's just moved a little bit. It's still at, they're both now at that midpoint, but they're hitting it from this angle. The moon's over here instead of the moon being over in the middle here. So. It, I think the moon's going to like pick up some information of that deception maybe. And then when it gets over to Mars, maybe by the 11th, it's going to maybe gather that data and um, maybe emotionally fire people up. You know, it's going to be, be there in that emotional depth when all that stuff is going on. So it'll kind of take on that energy. And then as it gets closer on here and it breaks away from all that stuff and it gets finally over to Mars, it, I think Mars is going to get really pissed off. I think here's, I think around the 11th, there's going to be, I think there's going to be so much stuff, commute, confusion, emotion, um, uproar. And then I think here we're going to see some shit hit the fan um, on an emotional level. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just go days, just go a little bit. Um, it's Saturday the 12th. I just want to look ahead. We got moon breaking away. We still got this tight cluster of all this stuff here grinding together, you know, as, as we're going through the end of Scorpio. Or, you know, the middle to the end of that. Look at them, they're all traveling together, those three. And then um, on the 16th, uh, we have Venus the, um, entering Scorpio. We could have a, a real different, different tide of energy here. Um, it's just gonna be a much more uplifting sign but we'll get there. I just kind of want to go a week out, but sometimes you have to, I don't want to end on a suspenseful note for a whole week. You know, you're on the, ee, you've got to go back to the root note to resolve it. Don't want to hang on the, the, the flat seventh. It just sounds too, too discordant. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that is about it. So let me just move us back to today and end off. So We've got a very interesting week. Maybe get get some things in order on the inside because we got some of that nodal stuff. Those those inner planets, you know, the Sun, Venus, uh, Mercury, all going over the South Node. So um, yeah, it, it, I like to look at that as like getting rid of stuff that you don't need on an inner level, on an emotional level, on an intellectual level, habits and patterns and things that just are have no more use that are, are, are outdated, that don't serve you, um, get rid of them. Do some banishing things to get rid of, of those things, old concepts, um, worn out things on many levels. Let me leave it at that. All right, hope you found this interesting and we will see you all next week. <laughs>